good morning and here I am as usual stuck in traffic I am on my way to work right now and this is what happens every single day uh, I'm quite fed up of it my clutch is crying out in pain from being in first gear and uh, struggling along the whole way and I just wish there was an easier way for me to do this every day And it's not just the drive to work. I mean, in order for me to get to office on time, uh, I have to wake up very early in the morning, rush through breakfast, rush through getting ready, and then sit in traffic for so long. So by the time I get to the office, I am a mess, I'm tired, and I'm generally quite grumpy. But I think I have the answer now. Good morning. Well, uh, how am I able to be in bed at this hour when it's so bright outside? Well, the answer is flowing right by the windows. I am in a motorhome right now and I'm on my way to work already, but yet I am still in bed. I've got a lot of time left before uh, I hit traffic and I get to the office, so let's see what else I can do while I'm in this motorhome, shall we? One thing I obviously don't have to do is drive. Because this motorhome is built on a Tata 512 bus platform and you need a CV license to drive it. Which suits me just fine as it gives me all the time to enjoy the luxury that the executive motorhome has to offer. Built by a company called Executive Modcar Trends, this motorhome has a whole load of goodies hiding inside. First. Let's get rid of this bed. It requires some effort, but as you can see, there's a full dining table hiding underneath. And if you invite some guests over, there's a whole other double bed inside the ceiling for them to sleep in. Time to freshen up. And the executive motorhome has everything you need. There's a full-fledged washroom with an abundant onboard water supply, a faucet, and yes, even a lavatory. And what would mornings be without a big old cup of coffee? Ta-da! We have a microwave and a kitchen sink. I also can't remember when I last had the time to sit down and read the news in the morning. When your house is also your car, you have all the time in the world. And with all the surplus time on hand, you could catch up on some more current affairs on this 32-inch LCD TV. And what would TV be without a super comfy armchair to watch it from? Yes, sir. How much? Half an hour. Okay, thank you. After a quick word with the driver via the intercom, it seems I'm still a long way off from the office. For once, I actually have too much free time on my hands. As you can clearly see, I've never worked out a day in my life before. But if you're the type who likes to go to the gym before work, it won't be so easy when your house is on the move. Still, there's enough room in here to fit a basic set of gym gear, and you could possibly work out on the go. Enough mucking around now, I should really start getting ready. Time to use the motorhome's shower facilities. Well, it seems like I still have quite some way left to go before I reach the office and that's going to give me a chance to have a nice, relaxed and healthy breakfast on my way while on a move. We're now on the home stretch and I haven't once thought about the horrendous traffic that is surely lurking outside. No aching left foot, no cursing the traffic and quite a lot of lazing around. Time to spruce up and do some last minute mental preparation for my 9.30 meeting. Well, here we are, work sweet work, and I have 10 minutes to spare. I've come here in peace, quiet, comfort and relaxation. And I don't think I can think of a better way to get to the office every morning. There is the small matter of 77 lakhs, and yes, that's how much one of these will set you back, and that's before taxes. Then again, with something like this, do you really need a house at all?
Hi, I am in Jaipur. We are going for the Desert Odyssey with a gang of dusters. The drive will take us from Jaipur to Bikaner, from Bikaner to Jaisalmer, from Jaisalmer we are going to Khuri. The total drive is going to be about 1400 kilometers. It's going to be a nice drive, nice roads, maybe just go off road somewhere. We'll see. The gang of dusters that was flagged off from Jaipur was 40 strong. The first leg of the desert odyssey was a 340 km drive to Bikaner. It sounds like a lot, but the great roads in Rajasthan ensured that the convoy rolled into Hotel Vesta Bikaner Palace by late afternoon. For the rest of the day, the drivers pitted their driving skills against each other on a small course marked out with cones. Today we are on the second day of the trip. We are moving from Bikaner today. Our destination is a place called Khuri near Jaipur. It's going to be a 400 km drive today. So let's go. That day, superb roads and fantastic scenery made the distances and time fly past as we headed to Khuri near Jaisalmer. By the time the cars pulled in at Mama's resort and camp, it was already dark. The next day's schedule was packed with holy musty. After only two days on the road together, strangers were friends. So the holy celebrations at the camp was a predictably exuberant affair with lots of color, music and dance. The evening provided a different kind of hype for the participants as Renault had organized parasailing in the desert. Day 4, a 670km drive back to Jaipur meant a long day on the road. But the cavalcade of dusters made good time thanks to the excellent roads and strong engines. This was the last day of the drive for this gang of dusters. But this was certainly not the last time they were going to meet. Phone numbers had been exchanged. The feedback was unanimous that Renault organized more such drives for the gang of dusters. Let's hear what they had to say. The experience was wonderful. It was one of its kind. I mean, we have never had such an experience before. We were all looking forward to it and uh, it was very exciting. The arrangements were all wonderful and the drive was the best. The roads were excellent and I think the kids enjoyed the most. Uh, I mean, we, ha we have never had such a fast drive before. So it was overall, it was actually adventurous and wonderful. Our experience regarding this trip was is great actually. Till now, it's been great. We didn't think it was so adventurous and so exciting trip. We uh, met, you know, lovely people over here. Met you guys also. And it would be great and honor for me if you guys still stay in touch. So overall, the experience was wonderful. It was a experience. He drove a lot of cars. He was scared of a lot. He was scared of the desert space. I have finally. been to other trips also, but uh, the activities uh, and the people around here are really very lovely. The car is excellent. Ka. We purchased just, uh, on 17 Feb, so it's just it's one month. One month. Even uh, my relative have, uh, so I've been driving uh, this car. That is why like, uh, I bought this again. We came from Indore and our experience was very awesome and very ultimate. Renault, who set out to establish a community of duster lovers, 
has set the ball rolling with the gang of Dusty. The company promises many more exciting and longer drives in the calendar year. Unfortunately, as of yet, it is open only to Duster owners. If you are one, keep an eye out for announcements on their website. If this drive was any indication, this gang of Dusters is ready to go where no gang has gone before. Coming up, Hormuz brings you his usual dose of hot news from the Indian auto industry in school.